Hello guys, in this video we'll discuss about validation in Plisty and Laravel. Let's start. As you can see here, I have an update method on my controller and I added this validation class here, form request, update post request and if passed, it will return it works message, right? And here in our update, update request, this one here, let me remove it. I added title validation and the minimum must be at least three letters as an example. But if we back here to Laravel, documentation about validation here it says in blessed rule and they say that by default when an attribute being validated is not present or contain an input string normal validation rules including custom rules not run in other words here for example I am validating the title and if I not present or not send this title key in the validation it will skip this minimum rule without it adding error message it must be required right so back here in my endpoint and I sent an empty request send it passed and it works right but also if you notice here they say or contains an embed string but I think there is a mistake in the documentation maybe or may I didn't understand it even if I send here title right and I will send embed string it throws the error message, right? Which which means the validation rule here works, right? So it works only if I not present this value. So send again and it works. Another thing here about implicit validation for custom rules, I generated this custom rule here using this command. It's called title words count and it check if the title has less than five words it will return this error message right and also I set this option implicit and it generates this implicit variable and it's set to true which means if I use it here right remove it and I will say new title words count then pass it here it will work because I set this value here implicit to true what if I set it to false it will work like other validation rules it will pass so here is what does implicit validation means and don't forget about it any validation rule is implicit which means if we don't present it it will escape the rule right so from my point of view we must each time for required field add required because if not passed right sorry send it here so if we not bust it, it must throw an, or an error to provide the key. Here is a quick tip about implicit validation. If you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you in next videos.